This is a long process and we could know more today, next week, or maybe even next month. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan has the latest on what the political experts are saying about this election. And there is a lot to say, Charlie. <laughs> no doubt about it, Brian. Yeah, a lot to digest here. When I spoke to some political science professors in our area, they say that election offices from the one here at Union Station, for example, to ones in Pennsylvania or Arizona, they all do things a little bit differently. So they're not totally surprised it's taking a while to count and uh, count all these eligible ballots, get these votes tabu tabulated. And those political science professors pointed out that things have been a little bit different this year. A lot of states are seeing more mail-in ballots or did things a little differently because of COVID-19. But they say different doesn't doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong or illegal. The judicial system is in place to take a look over any of those types of allegations. But just because something is different in Arizona compared to here in Missouri doesn't mean it's fraudulent. I'm not sure that we do a great job um, educating everybody about that, right? I think that we're the, the, everybody sort of thinks election day is election day and we know by the end of the night how it goes. And there's just so many differences between states Dr. Horner went on to explain that in 2016, Pennsylvania did not have a uh, clear winner in the presidential election then on election night. So he said, you shouldn't be surprised that it's a little different. It's the same situation here in 2020, Bryant. Yeah, Pennsylvania keeping us on our toes, no doubt about it. And it seems to do that often when it comes to these elections, Charlie. Now, uh, what should uh, people take away from this uh, just interesting political experience? Yeah, we want to focus on some positives for you there at home, waking up with your glass half full. The political science professors I spoke to say they're real happy with the enthusiasm that voters have shown, and they hope that that continues forward through future elections. Brant. Charlie Keegan, live outside Union Station this morning. Thank you.